Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to go through an example of calculating percent change. Now remember, we can calculate percent change by taking the new value and subtracting the original value. That gives us the amount of change, the amount of increase or decrease. We then divide that result by the original value. Always divide by the original value because we are finding the percent change from that original value. That's going to give us a decimal. We then multiply the decimal by 100 to convert it to a percent. Let's jump into our example where we have a YouTuber subscribers increased from 1,572 to 6,390 over the course of a year. What was the percent change in subscribers? Round to the nearest percent. Let's set this up off to the side. So percent change equals, and now we need the new value minus the original value. Well, the new value is 6,390. So the new value, 6,390, minus, now we need the original value, which is 1,572. So that's the starting value. The YouTuber went from the starting value of 1,572 to the new value of 6,390. So minus 1,572, and then we divide by the original value, which again is 1,572, and then we multiply by 100. So let's work through this. We will subtract first. So 6,390 minus 1,572. That gives us 4,818. Now that's the amount of change. And since it's positive, that tells us we had an increase. So the subscribers increased by 4,818. So now we need to divide that amount of change by the original value and then multiply by 100. So let's divide now. We have 4,818 divided by 1,572. That gives us 3.06 four, and that decimal continues on. So let's stop there and we will end up rounding. Now we need to multiply that decimal by 100 in order to convert it to a percent. So let's multiply by 100 now by moving the decimal once, twice to the right. That gives us 306.4. And again, that decimal continues on. So let's round this to the nearest percent. We do that by rounding to the ones place. We have a six in the ones place with the four to the right in the tenths. So does this round to 306% or 307%? Well, 306%. So this is approximately, and I'm using the approximately symbol here since we are rounding. Approximately 300 six percent. Now that's positive, so that tells us we had an increase. So what was the percent change in subscribers? Well, there was approximately a 306 percent increase. Now I do wanna mention when it comes to percent changes that are 100 percent or more, a 100% increase means that the original value doubled. So this 306% increase makes sense. The original amount of subscribers more than doubled, which tells us the percent change is going to be more than 100%. So there you have it. There's an example of how to calculate percent change. Check the description for more examples. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.